today I'm doing a little project. A little history behind this project was uh, in the winter time we went ice fishing. Well, the day before I went ice fishing, I took my truck for a car wash, and this is probably about 28 degrees, so it was freezing. And I washed the truck because I wanted us to go in a nice clean truck. Well, what happened was the gas, Chevy's gas tank cover is un unconventional. So it's a little bit different. So the, the next day we went ice fishing, we had to get fuel on the way back. We had to get fuel and my gas fuel lid froze. I could put the nozzle into the gas uh, container into the, the, the hole and what I found out was because of Chevy's poor design, Chevy and I think the uh, the GMC have the same design for the gas tank. They had they have one lid on top and have another lid at the bottom. The lid on top is held by springs that you can push in and out. And after the first lid went down, the bottom there is sealed tight, and the water that came through when I washed my vehicle sat there and froze and I could not get the nozzle past the first lid to the second lid to get the fuel. So we, we had to drive over to a friend's house. He got an ice pick. We picked the ice. We I picked out the, the, the ice chips from the bottom, the second lid, and that's how we were able to fuel up. But during that time, we broke the first lid that, that was held by spring. It was we broke it off, it fell in there, but I didn't care. I just wanted to get gas because I was down to almost E. And so we were able to get some gas, but I'll show you what happened. So here it is. This is the gas cap. Chevy does not have any gas a gas cap at all. This is the first lid held by this, held by this spring. And this lid here, this lid here, fell off this lid is supposed to be right right here like kind of like that but facing this way so what happened was the clip came off you see the clip right there it's by that clip is supposed to clip onto the top there's a little bar right here right here that goes across that way and that clip right there is supposed to clip onto that bar and the spring is be, should be under the lid and it's supposed to push up to hold the lid clothes but the problem is uh, it's held by that spring only so eventually this pops off then this laying in here so how I've been feeling lately is leaving it lay like this and I will push the I will put the nozzle in the nozzle will push it open and then the nozzle will go down to where that will go down to the gas tank and that second lid right there and that's a poor design by Chevy. I wish they would have a recall and fix this thing here. But if you guys have a problem with this, I am gonna attempt to show you how to put this lid back on and fix it. Cause uh, this lid is a little bit too big. You can't pull it out of this hole. So the first thing we're gonna do is push this spring down. And then we're gonna take this lid and make sure that the clip here is in the back and we're going to flip it over the spring and then we're going to attempt to clip it back up in there. So I'm going to flip the spring down and flip it over so that here let me show you this real quick the spring the spring rides on this rides on this little arch uh, spine right here it's like a spine the spring rides on that so we want to have it flip around We're gonna flip it, push the spring down, flip this over the spring, and attempt to put it on top. 
attempt to put on top to ride that spine there. This. And what you can do too now is balance it with your finger and use this angle uh, tool here. So right now, this is how it's supposed to look like. But right now the spring is holding it there. But what we need to do is hook this up to the top with that little bar, the little spring bar there. So let me make it straight. And there it is. A way to test it out is if you uh, stick the nozzle, stick the nozzle of a gas fuel pump in there, and go down, and you let go, it come back up. Got it. So what I did was I took this, went behind this flap, and hook it and push it up until one side was clipped on over here then I use I use a, a pick a straight pick and just push this and in in and there it is there's how it's done and after many tries finally got it done so since it's fixed let's pretend this is the nozzle for the fuel pump the fuel pump goes in push down the second the second flap comes back out it should close back up again like that. Water went through this this edge here and during the car wash water went through and sat inside there halfway inside I couldn't even push this in like that I couldn't even push it in so uh, we had to pick the ice out but Chevy please don't do this in order to prevent water from happening that again here's what I found is uh, a hubcap or trailer hubcap I believe this is a uh, one and three quarter. It fits right in. So if you take it to a car wash, water can flap in there, but water will not go in there. And when you get a fuel, just pull that out and fuel, and put it back in. And that's how it's done. Well, I hope you uh, learned something from there. And you know, all you Chevy owners, I think if we all complained to Chevy or GM, and they do a recall on this, on this stupid, stupid cover that they designed. As you see, I tried to take this off, bend all this, I broke all that off. Couldn't take it off. Um, the dealer said that in order to fix that, you have to replace the whole nozzle. And I said, you know what, there's gotta be a better way. So, being the, the guy that I am, I'm gonna take a challenge and we we're able to fix this. So there we go. So if you enjoyed that, hit a like, subscribe, and uh, I do all kinds of things, fishing, maybe hunting this year, uh, a lot of things outdoors, and hopefully this will help you guys. You guys that have a Chevy that has the same problem, that'll fix it, all right? Have a good day and enjoy the outdoors. Here's a test.